Hi, I'm Clayton Pillion with the PIC32 team here at Microchip, and I want to introduce you to our new family of 32-bit microcontrollers. This family is loaded with connectivity peripherals. If your designs need Ethernet, CAN, USB, or a large amount of serial communications, this is going to be an interesting family to you. Also, if you're running a lot of software, and that's not surprising considering PIC32's best-in-class processing performance really makes it easy to run a lot of software, we have 64 and 128 k bytes of RAM integrated in the chip, making for a very, very good connectivity product. Let's go ahead and take a look at the families, as well as the software and the development tools we have available for you. There are three new families for the PIC32. First, the MX5 family has one CAN controller along with USB host, device, and on the go. The MX6 family has a 10100 megabit Ethernet Mac and the same USB peripheral. The MX7 family has two CAN 2.0B controllers plus the 10100 Ethernet Mac plus the same USB peripheral. The MX5 family has 64K byte of RAM whereas the MX6 and 7 have 64 and 128K bytes of RAM. All three families range from 256 to 512K bytes of flash memory and run at 80 MHz and have up to 6 UARTs, 5 I2C, and 4 SPI interfaces. The remaining peripherals are consistent with their existing PIC32, MX3, and MX4 families. If you're interested in using the PIC32 for networking applications, then you need a PIC32 Ethernet starter kit. This has everything you need for networking. There is a 512K flash, 128K RAM, PIC32 with an Ethernet PHY and RJ45 connector. The board has an integrated programmer and debugger, so all you need is a USB connection to the PC. This starter kit can also be used for USB development. The PIC32 USB starter kit 2 is the best and lowest cost starting point for USB device host and OTG development. This is $55 and also has an integrated programmer and debugger. Lastly, for those of you with Explorer 16, a processor module is also available. There is a long list of software available from Microchip for the PIC32, and most of this software is provided in source code form and is free of charge. Thank you for taking your time to learn more about the PIC32 that's designed for connectivity and software-intensive applications. If you'd like to experience the performance of the PIC32 or the simplicity that it can bring to your design, I encourage you to purchase a starter kit or a PIM and start developing today. To learn more, visit www.microchip.com slash PIC32.